What is up everyone? Welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's see how we can add some order tracking to our products, to our orders inside our Shopify store. So in order to continue, the first thing that we must have is a Shopify account. If you don't have a Shopify store or do you want to figure it out, if you can have the trial mode. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. So you might be getting a few rewards just by signing up and you might be getting enjoying uh, three months of Shopify for only one buck and into a basic or a started plan. So that's what really depends on you guys. So here, as you can see, I'm already into my Shopify account. I'm going to go into my store. As you can see here is my online store. But what I do want to focus on is, first of all, to see if my online store has a theme. Now, currently, I don't have anything like added here uh, yet. But what I wanted to do here is just to make sure that I do have this created. And then I want to make sure that I have created my product. So when you go in here into products, and as you can see, I do have one, two, three, four uh, products added here into my CJ dropshipping. This is a dropshipping supplier that's going to be helping me to make some sales. So uh, once I do have successfully done with that, I, I might see that I have an order here. And here is the part where I can see orders into Shopify. Now, how can people start to track their custom orders? if they make a, a payment, if they purchase a product inside my store. So there are two ways that we can do this. The first way is to go directly into the applications. I'm going to hit into add apps. And here into add apps, I'm going to look for Shopify app store. Here into the Shopify app store, I'm going to look for order tracking. And here, this keyword is going to be showing me lots of applications that can be helping me to track a few orders. For example, I can totally suggest you to use um, the, the Bidos or the after shipped order tracking. Both of them are really great, great, great applications. So you can track, uh, they're going to be helping us to track our, uh, our orders. You just need to hit into an application. First of all, if, if you want to continue, you have to consider that we do have a seven day free trial of the after shipped. After that, there's a monthly plan, of course, we need to provide. But this is really, really worthy if you want to make some uh, customization like this and you want to add like your brand, your logo, your name of the order, the personal custom uh, name of the customer. So the other way that we can do this without having to pay absolutely anything is to go back into my store, into my dashboard. I'm going to click into the X button if you don't want to use any application. So first of all, what we do want to do is to go into our online store that you can see in here. Now inside our online store, we want to look for the navigation. Actually, I'm going to hit into pages. So you guys can see all the pages that we have available into our online store. This is just going to be taking a second here. So here, what I do want to do is to hit into add page. And here into add page, I want to choose the title. I want to choose tracked your order like this. And then what I want to do here into the content is to choose this option to show HTML. And here, what I do want to do is to use a document. I'm going to give you this, this document totally for free. You just need to click down below in the description. Uh, I promise you guys, I'm not going to be giving you absolutely any, any kind of information. This is just for sharing you um, all of this code so you don't have to do this manually. And of course, we don't have to um, take the manual way of doing this because we all want to do this in a very easy way, right? So what I want to do here is to choose to highlight all my file. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go into my store. We are inside the content of the HTML. I'm going to hit into paste. And there we go. Now what I want to do is to scroll all my way up. And here it says, please enter your tracking number below. If your tracking number does not work, feel free to contact us at. And here I want to delete this email and I want to import my own custom uh, email. 
For example, I'm gonna hit to support at roxyshop.com and leave it like that. And there we go. So once you do have this already set it up, I want to just uh, make sure that everything has been copy and paste correctly. And I'm gonna hit into save. There we go. So the page was created successfully. Now, as you can see, we do have here the please enter your track uh, number below. And here I can input the tracking number and I can input the tract. So now what I want to do is to go into navigation. And here into navigation, I want to choose the title. I, we do have the menu items. I'm going to hit into add menu. And here. I do you want to add the menu item? I want to add the tract your order. And here I want to choose my my menu, my sidebar menu. So I if you don't see that in here, you can always go into console. And here what I want to do is to put uh track your order. Can you hit into save menu? And there we go. So what I want to do is just to add the track your order like this. I'm going to hit into add. And once I have successfully done that, I want to hit into save. And I want to do exactly the same thing with the footer menu, which is actually this one. So I'm going to hit into the footer menu. And here I want to add menu item. And once again, I want to track your order. Hit into linked. And I'm going to hit to track my keyword. Here it is. Track your order. Hit into add. And hit into save. I'm going to go back in here. And just to make sure that my main menu has, of course, the folder menu, home catalog contact, I'm going to add this just for track your order once again, just to make sure that I have all the options for the client available. I'm going to hit into add. And then I'm going to hit into save. Now what I want to do is just to make sure that this is uh, properly working. So I'm going to hit back into my online store. And here into customize, I do have the Roxy shop. I have my home catalog contact and tracks your order. Now here as you can see, if I clicked in here so I can edit that, as you can see, we do have the track your order here. Please enter your tracking number below. And there we are just good to go. Really, really easy to um, to use this tool. So lastly, guys, if you just want to take a look into your website, I'm going to hit into the X mark. I'm going to go into the three dot and I'm going to hit into uh, preview my website in order to see my store. So I'm going to hit into view, track your order. I'm going to choose just a random number because if you want to track the order, of course, you're going to be appearing in here into into orders. And here into order is going to be appearing the custom uh, number and name. If I choose tracked, uh, in my case, let's see if it's going to be helping me to track something. As you can see, here it is. Uh, we can choose UPS, DNT. I mean, this is not like fully customizable, but if we're just getting started, I think this is more than enough, right? So hopefully, guys, this was a very useful video for you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Uh, have lots of fun with your order tracking. The best of luck to your store and I will see you on the next video.